Hi, today I want to make a, an upgrade for my uh, GoPro, uh, especially when I'm outside and flock, I really needed uh, some more power. So uh, what I have found was I would use my, my I call it the selfie stick and the tripod for the for my DJI Osmo, I fairly not use it for the DJI Osmo because it's be becomes quite heavy and and strong to to walk around with. So I have this GoPro. It's uh, I think it's a Hero Six, yeah, Hero Six, and I want this to be mounted here. So for this modification, I have uh, this adapter from from uh, a selfie stick. I have the GoPro case with a uh, uh, mounting bracket here and I found that old uh, thing for my phone so I can have my phone there as well and, and uh, adjust and do the adjustments while I'm filming on the GoPro. So the plan is I have printed this uh, as well. Um, I constructed that on or in um, one, two, three D design, and well, I had to make a second version because the one for the battery pack was uh, uh, too narrow. But this one seems to fit quite well. There is only one functional hole here, and that is for uh, for the button for for this um, uh, battery pack that is on ten thousand milliamps, and in the bottom there is holes for the USB connections. So this should fit quite easily in here, and it do, and I can connect my my USB in the bottom of <coughs> of the battery pack. So I printed this on my 3D printer, and it took approximately three and a half hour. And after I have been cleaning up the support material, as you can see here, I'm now ready to install this. What should I call it? Flocking tripod. The benefit with with this one is that I may in fact can can uh, extend it, and this will work as a tripod. I'll just put it in here, right? And you lock it, and I have a tripod, right? So this is uh, base and uh, I have this adapter where I have made this bracket on my 3D print and it should fit quite easily in here. I hope it does. It seems a little narrow, but let's see. So first of all, I want this to be installed here. And it is a little bit heavy, the battery, so I want it to be aligned correctly. I uh, want to give it a little bit glue here behind. So we do. Just to keep it in place, it's easy to remove later on. And a little bit on this side. So let's make this dry. So the second part is we'll get this in there and it fits perfectly and it should be like this and I can now sweep this and it fits perfectly. It is now possible for me to add the battery pack and uh, on top of this one here I will put this All right seems good and I can open up put my GoPro in here 
And so far, so good. Well, for this bracket here, I want to install here. So I can put my phone in there and use it as a display for the GoPro. Or whatever camera I want to use. Could be my Lumix as well. So uh, I glue that as well. And I will take some glue here. Nice and hot. And let's put that on. And we let it dry. Here we go. Clean up the mess a little bit. Here. And after it has been dried, I will uh, connect the phone and show you how it works in practice. So I have two ports for the for the power. This is too short. I will uh, measure the length and uh, order me someone online at AV Cables. But the principle is that I can now charge my phone and my GoPro at the same time when I'm flopping with this 10,000 milli milli uh, uh, watt uh, uh, battery pack. I can also control my my GoPro and change the settings here because it's connected through Wi-Fi. And what I see here on the screen is exactly the same that is on the GoPro. It's also now easy for me to push this handle down and go around without that the equipment is too heavy. So this will make it a little bit easier for me when I travel to charge and uh, film and control the camera at the same time. Both the GoPro and my phone is a Huawei can handle to be outside in bad weather so I really do not maybe consider to take out the, the battery pack but I really do not have to, to consider to, um, to stop flocking immediately when it starts to ring. So this is for the 3D printing tip today is to convert some of your equipment that it works different as you normally use it. Thank you for watching. See you another day. Bye bye.